clear is absolutely a color. In my opinion, clear is not a color. Oh my, how to explain this in simple terms? This, is, this one's hard. <laughs> how about this, yes and no? Well, varnishing goes back for centuries. It's cool to know what has happened in the past, just so to know well, what the artist used to use. The early Renaissance recipe book by Cennino Cennini, Il Libro dell'arte. In the book he writes, uh, varnishing makes the painting's colors become very fresh and beautiful and remain in a pristine state forever. And talking about varnish, when you apply it to an oil painting, uh, it is a liquid substance that you brush on or spray on to a painting. It does not actually change the color. The idea of clear is it's not a color. It's a coating and it's kind of a pop, popping a pop. Like in your eye will automatically be, be drawn to it. And it can enhance a color, it can brighten a color, it can sometimes add saturation to a color when you put clear over it. But the technical uh, definition is clear is not a color. Um, even if it's not technically, scientifically a color, for a designer and a printer it is absolutely a color. Um, it's an opportunity to add a design element that allows for a different finish and a different tone and a different a different feel. If on a surface that is matte, it says what it ends up doing is the light comes down and it actually scatters it a little bit. When you have a clear coat on top, it, it reflects more light back at you. I think the good thing about the digital printing is you can put toner on demand. So you can put wherever you want to lay the clear onto wherever you want it to pop. It's nice to see it sort of all these really amazing technologies. It's a lot of fun to, to see things that you could only imagine. To me, like it's more science. Um, if I call it art, we play with the, the scientific principles to make art possible.